So uh, we've hiked up the mountain today in order to demonstrate uh, the utility of the tools that are in your uh, binoculars, ballistic range finding binoculars. Um, other than telling you the range, they can also tell you the shoot to range. And the shoot to range will change depending on your angle of your shot and uh, some atmospherics as well. But today we're gonna test uh, the angle and how shooting at extreme angle can affect your fall of shot. So basically, it doesn't matter if you're shooting up or downhill, it's gonna have an effect on your shot. And the effect that has is you will have less drop than shooting at the same distance with no angle. That's because you're shooting through gravity and gravity pulls straight down into the earth. Now I've rigged up a small chart to demonstrate this. So with the help of my um, useful assistants, um, I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit about how this works. We have Will here and we have our deer here. So there's 350 yards between the two. But what we're also doing is shooting through 350 yards of gravity. So this is our distance and this line depicts gravity that we're shooting through. And gravity pushes straight down like this. So when we go onto the mountain, here's our mountain, and we start shooting at angle, when we apply some angle to the target, we can see that the actual distance stays at 350 yards, but the amount of gravity we're shooting through reduces. So this is the actual amount of gravity that's gonna have an effect on the bullet. So in theory, it is moving the target closer as regards gravity. So we're not gonna have as much drop as we would at zero angle. So what Will has done, he's gone out on the mountain and put a steel gong out at 350 yards with a 30 degree angle. It's quite difficult to measure this angle in a hunting situation, but Will is using the Leica HDR binoculars and they measure the angle for you and they also compensate the range. So they will give you the range that you need to set your scope to to actually hit the target. And his binoculars have given him a range of 304 yards. Now the difference between the drop at 304 and 350 yards from his 150 yard zero is five inches difference of drop. But the first thing we're gonna get Will to do is to pretend that he's at a zero angle shot and apply enough clicks to strike the gong at 350 yards and see what happens here. There is a bit of wind today. Uh, I have it there at 10 miles per hour down at the target. So for me, that's going to be uh, 0.6 mils or six centimeters. So I could click, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold 18 centimeters on the target. So what we saw there, he hit the gong right at the top. Even though it was 350 yards away and he put on his zero for 350 yards, he struck it high. And that shows the effect the angle has. Now we're gonna get him to take off four clicks for a 304 yard zero and fire another shot. Now what you can see there is he hit the gong center mass and the distance between these two shots is five inches. Now that's not a massive difference you might say, but it could be the difference between killing an animal cleanly or missing it or worse again, wounding it. And that's the last thing we want. The thing to remember is, as you apply more angle, the difference gets greater. So you could be missing an animal by a long way or missing a target by a long way. What's important for you the person behind the rifle is, is that you know what difference and when the difference occurs. You know at what range does it start to matter, at what angle does it start to matter. And your binos are a great asset because they tell you the truth. They tell you the shoot to range and that shoot to range is the most important thing. You don't really need to worry about the angles, you don't really need to worry about you know, a lot of the nitty gritty at hunting ranges. Your binos will tell you the shoot to range and you just dial and shoot. So it's important to remember what your binoculars can do. They can measure the angle for you 
and they can do it quickly, effectively, and help you make a perfect shot as we've done today.